Hola, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shiko. Thank you so much for tuning in. And on today's video, as you can see, we will be doing something different, something we've not done on this channel. I want you guys to clean and organize my space with me as I am decorating for Christmas. And we hope we can do this together. So I begin by rich, removing the curtains. They need to go out for cleaning. And I will also be changing the carpet and the throw pillow covers so that we can shake up the theme a bit. And guys, I hope please you can excuse my lighting for today i really tried and struggled figuring this out everywhere i was placing the camera was either turning out so dark or not being able to show the space as is or not being able to show me do a lot of things i hope if we're gonna be doing more of this i promise promise i'll figure it out thank you So at this point, we have removed the carpet, we have dusted the couches under the cushions, we are now just doing our window a bit and dusting the window panes and then we go into mopping and uh, then decorate. We had deep cleaned about three days ago so what I'm doing here is just a walkover of the whole process so that it feels fresh and uh, everything will be fresh and set.
So I am done with cleaning and now what I want to do is uh, this DIY project I talked to you about. Uh, if you watched my previous video when I bought the Christmas tree, I told you guys I was really hoping to get a flocked Christmas tree. But they were also very expensive and not easily available. So I did my own small research and found out how I could DIY my own Christmas tree to look flocked. And this is what we are going to be doing. So we start by unboxing the Christmas tree. It is tall. It is full. It is beautiful. And all you keep doing is um, you fluff it up by by untwisting. The, it's kind of folded. So you just untwist the branches. You unfold them. You fluff it and assemble it. And then we will do our flocking thing. And I'm so looking forward to this. We are going to be using spray paint and uh, let's see how this comes out so our tree is now standing tall and it's time to do the magic but i feel like we need to bring it down <laughs> so that as we do the flocking we can do it bit by bit eh? you see when snow falls eh? the, the whole point of of flocking the tree is to look like it actually has no falling on it and uh, when snow falls i feel like it falls from above so spraying the branches of the tree from above will look more realistic so that it looks like snow naturally just fell on the branches and it's looking good it's looking natural and that's what i was trying to do here that's why i decided to do it in bits and i decided to do just moderate paint on the bottom part and the middle i did a little bit more and sprayed most of it at the tip the topmost part of the tree so that it looks natural and just flawless and realistic So we are done flocking our tree and now I want to come to this wall which I felt was a bit plain. I will put these baskets here. They are woven, they are handmade and they are so beautiful. I love them. I feel like they'll be in sync with our theme and at least not have this wall so plain as it was. Whoa, just have a look at our Christmas tree. I think it's beautiful. I think it looks excellent and only for the price of a spray paint can and a little bit of elbow grease, I think this is such a bargain because the difference between a green tree and a flocked tree in the market for this height, same height, was about 10k and I think that's a big save. I hope it won't yellow over the years. I hope it will stand but well, as of now, I love what I see. So go ahead and decorate and I wanted like a glam look, natural shades, other shades of decor. So I played around with that and let's do this.
The other thing that I wanted to add onto my Christmas tree are these cute bows. And for the shades that I wanted to work with, I couldn't find any ready in the market. So I decided to DIY mine. <laughs> so I bought this fabric and I will show you quick how I do this. So you just have a working space because you'll be using glue and a glue gun and it can get messy. Cut long strips of about half a meter. I bought half a meter of fabric. So I just cut across it and I cut long strips across it. So the strips are about half a meter long and about two, two three centimeters thick. And th what I'll just do is using a glue gun and glue of course i will make my bows let's see how i do this take one long strip and cut it into two you will need scissors to do that using one half this is what make a loop this is what is going to make our bow so make a loop and seal it with glue do that for all the other loops and allow them to hold and dry and then we go to the next step so now we need to make these loops into real bows and what we do is we take one loop and clench it in the middle and we will need something to make it look neat so you remember half of the strip that we left aside because we cut the strips into two and only used one half to make the loop yes now that other half is what we are using for this bit take a small piece of it from the end like that size and is what you wrap around your bow in the middle there to give it a perfect shape and look After you've secured that with glue, you see our bow is already coming into shape. And the only other thing we need to do is give it some character and some good finish. And the other remaining bit of the half of the strip that we had, you just cut it into two. And this is what is going to finish our bow. And put it behind on the... You will decide which part of your bow goes behind, which part will be the front. But I advise the side where you wrapped that, that clenching middle part eh? that should be the back so that we are not seeing any edges any glue so at the back put the glue and add those two strips there to make our bow look complete and real and there we have it it is done it is looking good to me and we're just not going to repeat that whole process to make our other bows Then we will just nip these ends a little bit to, to give them a perfect looking and a good edge, yeah? just to make them look real beautiful. Nobody needs to know you DIY'd them by making them look, look tacky and leaving them looking just bland. So we are going all the way and 
after we nip that, our bows are complete and I think they are perfect. So you just repeat that process on all our other bows and after they are done, all we need to do is just now put them on the Christmas tree. Final steps on our bows is to give them the ability to hang on the Christmas tree without falling off. And we do this by creating a loop behind there where we are going, which we are going to use to hook on the Christmas tree branches so that they will stay secure on the tree without falling off. And that is what I'm doing there. I'm just sewing ear to ear and leaving a kind of a hanging thread on the middle there. And after that, we just put the bows on the Christmas tree and I love how everything came out. I love the flocked look. I love the bows. I love the gold. I love the white. I just love how my Christmas tree came out. It's, it is beautiful. I think it is. And I would love to know what you think as well. <laughs> so we had also DIY'd the door wreath, but I think I missed that footage oh let's just take a look at all the christmas pieces we've been able to put together already feels so much like christmas in here it does it does i last minute added those snowflakes on the tree and i think they are beautiful thank you so much for tuning in i hope you loved this video i hope you enjoyed watching if you did and you've not already please subscribe to this channel i hope you keep coming back for more and merry merry christmas